simulation of a electrophysiological model of a cell. Right? Now we are visualizing the cell wall. So who are going to act as a cell wall? Just raise your hands. Cell wall. Okay, cell membrane or cell wall. Three of you act as a cell wall and the connection between two of you are going to act as the channels for transmission. Okay. And outside of the cell you have sodium, potassium and chlorine. We have more number of sodium, more are sodium, this is your hands. We have four sodium atoms outside the cell, one potassium atom outside the cell and one chlorine atom outside, outside the cell. Okay, this is outside the cell. Inside the cell, you have one sodium atom, three potassium atoms and one organic atom. One organic atom. Okay, this is the structure. Now, Potassium tries to balance. Potassium tries to balance. So, one potassium from the nuclei of the cell moves outside, and one sodium from outside of the cell moves inside. Now, a balance is reached. Okay. Once a balance is reached, the inside of the cell becomes negative, and outside of the cell becomes positive. And you will get a resting potential of minus 90 millimeters. The resting potential of minus 90 millimeters. Okay. Now, a stimulus is applied. Once the stimulus is applied, the nature of the cell membrane changes. Thereby, more sodium is allowed to pass through. More sodium is allowed to pass through. Now, the inside of the cell. Inside of the cell becomes more positive compared to the outside of the cell and you get action. 